We cats, we cats, we bat, man. Now to the shocking arrest in the murder of rapper and music icon Tupac Shakur, nearly three decades after his death. CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti reports the suspect has been long linked to the 1996 shooting. Today, justice will be served in the murder of Tupac Shakur. More than 27 years had passed since legendary rapper Tupac Shakur was gunned down near the Las Vegas Strip. There had been no arrest until now. A Clark County grand jury has indicted Dwayne Keith Davis with one count of open murder. So let's talk about what happens next. You know, based on what the book says, uh, Zip uh, gave you a Glock, gave you guys a Glock, and you guys tossed it in the back seat. And uh, Bubble Up was a driver, and uh, Baby Lane and Freaky were in the back seat. We were just all in the car together. Okay. This was the white Cadillac. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are driving around, and then you hear these girls say, Tupac, Tupac. No, uh, we coming up, uh, what's the name? What's that, Flamingo? Yeah, I think that's Flamingo. We was coming up Flamingo and uh, got to the light. We was going to go uh, drink and smoke some weed. And he happened to be hanging out the window. He was hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac. Yeah, he was. So what happens next? And we just came and shit. I ain't going to go into details like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you got it in a book. You, you didn't play it at everything else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, in the book, you said that as you're driving up towards the, towards the BMW, with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat, and you said that Tupac pulled out a gun. It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. He okay. Was, yeah. Did you actually see a gun? No, I said, once he got the region, I got the ducking. So someone from your car That's what happened. started shooting at Tupac and Shook. Lane starts blasting. Um, you say Shook looks over, he sees you. Uh, he looks right at you? Yeah, he looks at me. Okay. When he looks over at you, and then, you know, Tupac's busy getting shot. Evident story is Tupac's trying to either get out of the line. back seat or something. Yeah, what do you see happening inside of their car? In. I seen a bullet going shoot his head. I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. So Orlando shot him and started cross Dre? He leaned over on the window. We rolled down the window pop. Who was it? They would drove on my side. I would pop them. You know what I'm saying? They, but they was on the other side. Right. I'm not going to go into details on that one. Keep your streets on me. I ain't going to go into detail on that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read from the book. Well, so th let them buy the book then. Okay. Well, I'm just going to read the, this passage. Uh, the shit was on. Tupac made an erratic move and began to reach down beneath his seat. It was the first and only time in my life that I could relate to the police command. Keep your hands where, where I could see them. Instead, Pac pulled out a strap, and that's when the fireworks start, started. One of my guys from the back seat grabbed the Glock and started busting back. The first shot skinned Shug in the head, and I thought that motherfucker was dead. I had heard some stories, supposedly that Tupac, that Shug used Tupac as a shield when the bulls started flying, but that's some bullshit. Shug was already wounded, and he was the one that got touched. As the rounds continued flying, I ducked down so I wouldn't get hit. Basically, yeah. White Cadillac arm came out the back seat and started letting off. What, what went through your head when you saw that? They shoot my nigga. So the bullets are flying. Tupac, uh, Tupac and Shook's car get, get all shot up. Was there, and I, I'd heard different versions of the story, but the one version I heard was that the other, that, that their entourage started shooting back. Basically, yes. Okay. Does anyone from the death row side return fire? Yes. Okay. Can you say who that was? Yeah, he's no longer with us. Uh, his name was Buntry. Buntry. Uh, one of Shug's right-hand guy, our good friend. 
uh, Alton McDonald. He uh, chased the uh, car down. He also received one gunshot to his, his vehicle. Uh, his car was shot. Uh, he had a black Toyota Supra. And him and another guy uh, returned shots at that car. Yeah, they, and they saying they left their guns at home, though. They, yeah, they started shooting back. Then yeah, some, uh, some chicks was in the sea breeze, started following a white sea breeze, right top sea breeze. Why were the girls following you guys? I don't know. Okay. That's crazy. But I guess their window got shot out. Front windshield, yeah. Yeah. And they stopped following you at that yeah, point. exactly. I, I've talked to a couple people that were there about the situation, and from what they told me was that, you know, you guys came up, you know, the car that you were in came up behind Tupac's car. You guys didn't, the cars were not facing each other. No, they weren't facing each other. They were not facing each other. Gutter lane. You guys got up parallel to them, behind them. And, you know, when you look side at... Side by side. Side by side. So how would you even see Tupac reach for anything if you're driving behind him? We weren't driving behind. I'll tell you, we were side by side at the light. Oh, okay. You guys were already side by side. Yeah. Right 60, Davis had been linked to the case for years, even admitting in a 2019 memoir that he was in the car during the drive-by shooting. Police today showed hotel surveillance video of a gang fight, they say, incited the attack on Shakur. In July, Davis's Nevada home was searched. Police seized several items. Shakur was just 25, but already a hip hop icon with 75 million records sold. I like to think I'm rebel, I'm revolutionary. His music still relevant today, a life that ended too soon. And Davis has denied firing the weapon, though prosecutors say he did call the shots, which is enough to warrant a murder charge in the state of Nevada. He will appear in court next week for arraignment, Nora. I lied to you, that whole case is mad, bro. Like, look how much years it took for them to solve this thing. And it's like you were, there was big conspiracy theories for years. People thinking he's alive in Haiti, people thinking he's in Cuba, all these stories, you get what I'm trying to say? And the maddest thing is, when Pat got killed, everybody was saying it was Orlando Anderson. I remember at the time, everybody was pushing this Orlando Anderson thing and then he got killed. That made the rumor kind of high pop, but then it kind of died down. Then you had the podcaster, the vlogger era come in and I was like, all the gangsters from back in the day, these Crips, these Bloods, they're going on Vlad to tell their stories. Now a man is getting locked up and Vlad's getting the blame for it. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of crazy, but bro, the guy, the guy obviously snitched, got a co-sign from the police so he wouldn't have to do no time. And then after that, he's thinking he's cool because he snitched on his relo who's now dead. He snitched on a few other people's, I don't know what happened to them ever guys. So it's like, he's thinking he's cool. He's, he's done books, he's done interviews, he's got paid, he's made money off of this shit. You get me? He's killed a man and made money. He, if he kept quiet, he would have been okay. Probably would have been blessed. But the fact that he keeps writing these books and going on these podcasts and like, like he's some superhero or some shit, you get me? That took down Thanos or something like this, you get me? But now, blood cloud, the boy them's come for you, bro. You're going to have to do this time, man. This is mad. And you kept evidence as well. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But yeah, you've seen that story. You've seen he's locked up now. It's mad. See how everything come around, bro. Karma works differently, you get me? But anyway, rest in peace, Pat. See the t-shirts a bit creased and that. Rest in peace, Pat, man. The legacy's still alive, you get me? Gabos, game ain't based on sympathy. We Oh